We identify America by the salad bowl analogy for a reason. We all come together as one entity, embracing all of our differences and acknowledging each of our cultures. Africa is another continent that fits a perfect salad bowl image. Africa, a place of 53 separate countries, languages, and religions comes together as one. Out of all the 53 countries, I decided to visit only one as part of my STEP experience. In August 2014, I visited Melange, Malawi with Ohio State's Global Health Initiative. Growing up, I always knew my future occupation would be in the health field. There is no doubt about it. But the trouble came when it was time to decide what part of the health field I wanted to spend the rest of my life in. Eventually, with the guidance of my parents, I settled on being a physician. But the only way I would know for sure that that would be the job for me was to get first-hand experience. When I arrived in Malawi, I was suddenly thrust into a new environment with new hurdles, but having five other Ohio State students with me made the transition much easier. I found comfort in knowing that I always had those around me that came from similar life experiences. The first day we got to Malawi, we were picked up in a mini bus that we would probably never encounter in the States. This was the bus that would take us around Malawi for those two weeks, and it was our only source of transportation, except the occasional bike taxis. The seats were torn and uncomfortable, spaces were cramped, and the rides were just as bumpy as driving all over potholes, but many memorable moments and important conversations happened in that bus. This bus took us to Melange Mission Hospital the next day, and in the bus, the six of us discussed our expectations at the hospital and our personal experiences in Melange that first night. Together, we bonded over how much we missed things in America that we took for granted and how excited we were to be in Malawi and the parts of the trip we couldn't wait to experience. In the hospital, we had a first encounter of just how different things in Melange were compared to our style of living back home. We saw the divide between Malawi and American healthcare. We saw how the lack of ambulances, health education, access to medicine, and lack of access to doctors affected the health system. America promoted sterility and top-notch surgeries and equipment, but in Malawi, it was evident that doctors, patients, and workers just had to make do with what they had. A cot, a room with one curtain, limited materials, and one IV stand was what they called a surgery room, and they made it work. We also saw those who were sick, but we could see in their faces they were happy to be alive, and the nurses were wonderful about taking time out of their days to show us around. Despite the negatives, on this first day, it made sense to me why Malawi was nicknamed the Warm Heart of Africa. On the bus back, we discussed how much we learned in that very first day and shared our thoughts overall. Conversations like this happen every time we were taken to somewhere new, and over time, conversations like this in the bus allowed us to bond and learn more about each other, ourselves, and more about this country we've grown to love. In addition, these bus conversations allowed me to realize that my fellow Ohio State students aren't as similar to me as I thought. These small bus conversations gave me a perspective of how my peers were raised, their interests, life back home, and their outlook on the world around us. Through these conversations, I learned we weren't raised to believe in the same things, and some of these differences eventually brought conflict within some group members. Through these conflicts, we learned from our differences and understood the root of why each of us thinks the way we do and believe in the things we believe in. We learned not to fault each other for our transgressions, but rather we understood more about each other and in some cases changed each other for the better. Within these bus rides, I also realized that what I once thought was so different about Malawi actually hit closer to home than I thought. Malawi was more similar to the U.S. than I could have ever imagined. The country is full of nice, generous, and loving people like those I know at home, but their culture resembles mine as well. I have a Ghanaian culture as well as an American culture, and many parts of Malawian culture resemble some of that I know so well. I found some connections between the food, religion, and moral standards, and so much more. I went to Malawi to discover more about medicine, but I left discovering much more. After having the chance to test patients for HIV and give immunization shots to babies, I reaffirmed just how much I love the health field. I also learned to appreciate the differences in people who not only exist 20,000 miles away, but also among the people I interact with every day. Who knew the experiences on that bus would teach me so much?